today, Cole and Heather and Ayla. and Ayla are here to talk about Dapper Day. And we're going to talk about what you can expect from Dapper Day and also give you some tips on how to do Dapper Day. Um, so this so is cute. your guys' third Dapper Day coming out? Yeah. Yeah, so like I thought you guys would be good to talk about it because... You're becoming pros, but you're relatively new, and you have, like, good perspective on what you were expecting, and, like, what fulfilled your expectations, and what might not have fulfilled your expectations. It just seemed so glam. I love glam. I like to dress up, and I don't feel like there's enough, uh, well, where I'm from, Ohio, there aren't really many reasons to go out and look good. Dapper Day is a great opportunity to go out and be just flashy and fun, and right. it's something I really and enjoy. And then it's at, da it's at Disneyland, so... You really does are the best of both worlds of things that I desired as a sad little Midwestern lady. So, like, seeing everyone on Instagram, mm -hmm. like, you were like, this looks so fun. Like, yeah. what were you, like, excited to do? Um, well, in my eyes, you and Leo were, like, the king and queen. Yes. And I was going to be your servant. No, I was kind of. I don't know. Like, don't were know. you like, I want to see what the expo's like? Like, I want to do... Yo, I didn't know there was an expo. Mm. I didn't know much. I didn't know anything about that. <laughs> no, I dragged him to I, it. I didn't know very much. I don't know. I like looking back and I'm like, I don't know. I just, I thought it was awesome and like everybody looks so beautiful. We're both into fashion and it's yeah. like Disney mixed with fashion. It was yeah. a perfect event. And then when you finally went, your first Dapper Day, how'd it go? Well. Which one was our first one? Well, if Come you count on. the Sunday. No. Aristocats? I was going to say, if you count Saturday, we did Aristocats first. And, you oh, know. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't get out of my dress like <laughs> I, I like I, if I couldn't I couldn't do things throughout the day like I couldn't go to the bathroom and right so like, I didn't really like eat um or right. drink and that that was sad for mm -hmm. me it was warm for me I was wearing a three-piece suit I was dressed as Toulouse from Aristocats yeah, it's hot and you were wearing fur it was it was, yeah. a, it was a really it warm was, day yeah we're um, not from LA so like what have you learned to do to prepare what are your tips don't forget things at home like what you're close. <laughs> Don't forget deodorant. Don't forget, Don't forget hairspray. Wear sunblock. A lot. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of makeup has SPF, if, but yeah, sometimes if, that's if not enough. It, you know, not but these are things that. that you're saying to do not forget to do before you leave the house, not to bring with you. Well, it depends. If you're staying, like if you're staying at a resort, or if you're staying, like at home, it's different. The very first Dapper Day we went. We actually didn't live here yet. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Um, that we was flew just out like just a year to go to Dapper ago. Day. Yeah, we flew out to go to Dapper Day. So like, we had to have everything packed in our bags. A change of shoes is something that even men would be surprised. Change of so shoes. Mm -hmm. I know, like that's a very common tip for women is to bring like a pair of flats or a pair of shoes that are comfortable for walking around the park. But for men, if you don't wear your dress shoes very often, a lot of times they're very rigid and they're mm. very rough and hard on your feet, especially like the, the back part, you know, like Achilles yeah. tendon mm -hmm. or whatever. And that can like rub you raw really quick. I was going to so, say, I have two tips for people like who decide they're definitely going to wear heels to Dapper Day. Number one, bring band-aids to put on the heel of your foot. Number two, don't. I know a lot of people who leading up to Dapper Day, they'll get their shoes ahead of time and just wear their Dapper Day shoes for like every day for a week. Another tip I would say, this is a little maybe more different. If you don't have Max Pass, I would just get Max Pass for the day. I was going to say Maxi Pass. Because, yeah, get, bring Maxi Pads <laughs> just in case. If you get Max Pass for the day, you can go and get photos all throughout the park and you can just get oh, them on your phone. Oh, I so thought you, you were doing this. Was like, I was like, who's going on rides? No, 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 no. Get Max Pass for the photo. For the photo, photo pass. pass. And then you $10 can get, unlimited photo pass. And yeah. you get plenty of awesome shots. There is a lot of... And you know, uh, sometimes there's people roaming the parks, which like... For a lot of our looks, like our Rapunzel pictures and our, like for my birthday, all of those yeah. were just photo pass people that were like, oh my gosh, it's your birthday, like, let's take pictures of you. And mm -hmm. they were like awesome. And then, Nicest people. Any yeah. other tips? Eat! Coffee. Oh yeah, very, stay hydrated. That's Eat before you put your outfit on. Men's fashion tips, one thing that I always try to do for my outfits, matching shoes and, and belt is a very good thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, find something that is like really awesome and inspiring for you. Um, some men don't really like 
the three-piece suit look, which is something I really like. So find yeah. something else. Uh, maybe you're more like a shirt and bow tie and suspenders kind of guy and like one of the Dapper Dan hats or something. Yeah, I feel like guys like feel like they have to fit into like this one ensemble that like most mm-hmm. people do, but like you totally don't have to. No, there's a million options that you, you can do. Like do. bell bottoms, yeah. 70s look. There's even like, like fashionable short ideas where you mm-hmm. wear shorts, which I haven't really seen, but mm-hmm. there are plenty of ways where you can incorporate that into an outfit. The perspective I can add is that I am a plus size woman so a lot of times your clothing options especially last minute are a little bit more limited um there is some stuff on amazon that's decent like that you can get on prime other places that are like you should probably order like a week ahead girl um would be like eloquy i always love eloquy this is literally eloquy right now or um forever 21 plus my skirt is forever 21 plus and torrid obviously um, but I think Eloquy has a lot of really good solid options and like prints that still are like not, I don't know, that like work for Disney Bands. Mm-hmm. Well, look out for these two this weekend at Dapper Day if you're going. I will not be there, sadly. I know, like what are we going to do with our king and queen? Well, this we're going like to steal the show. Year. Yeah, we're going to be the yeah, king and queen. They're going to say, well, they're gone. We have to crown somebody new. Yeah. Watch out, Leo. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow for more video. For vlogging. Yeah, and keep an ear open for a new, uh, new, uh, <laughs> new theme song. That that was it. That was the new theme song. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>